I don't know. Hello, fabulous ones. Welcome back to my channel. I am Marlo Keenan, and if you're new here, welcome to the Fabulous Family. Yes, I am like bare face today because as you guys could see, I'm doing the battle of my top two foundations. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to pick which one is going to be number one. So, I am super excited about this one. I'm nervous, I am all of that. So, if you wanna see which foundation is gonna end up to be my number one, then continue to watch. But don't you forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads, child. Now, let's just get into it. All right, all right, all right, y'all. You guys know I'm super excited about this because for those who've been watching me for a long time, everybody knows that the NARS Sheer Glow has been my favorite foundation since the Durban form, okay? Like, it's been my number one forever. But recently, I was super late to the game and I started to use the Armani Luminous Silk. Like, I was like, okay, I gotta get this and try it. And oh my God, I have been absolutely loving it now both these foundations have been out for a while this is not a review or anything like that but it is a video for me to decide which one is going to be my favorite so I'm going to do one on this side I'm going to do another foundation on this side and we're really going to analyze it to see what I think and all of that good jazz okay now I will put the NARS sheer glow on this side I got two different beauty sponges and all of that jazz now I do want to let you guys know that these are going to be different shades I know I'm going to be looking crazy on one half and crazy on the other because this one is my summer shade and this Armani is not this is gonna be a lot lighter but we are not here to debate or discuss the shade we are here to see which one I like better in terms of the finish and the look and all of that good stuff okay so that's how we're gonna roll with this video so let's get started I hope you guys are having a fabulous day so this NARS Sheer Glow is just a beautiful finish. It's very, it's medium to full coverage. It's very radiant. It's glowy. It just really melts into my skin. I really love it. It's always a perfect match. I am in Syracuse um, in the winter and this is Tahoe. Uh, and I may be a little, this may be even a little bit dark for me now, even though I'm tanned, a little tanned, but we'll, we'll just see. It, it, it works. Okay, so we're going to just go through it step by step. Now, let me go ahead and first use my primer. I mean, you guys know I just got, you know, my moisturizer mixed in with my Gerard Cosmetics BB Illumination. So we're just gonna, and that's what I'm just, that's what I usually use as a primer anyway, for the most part. This is like my everyday type of step, which you guys already know this, you guys already know this. So, you guys really know how this came about too, you know, because I did a video, I did a collab with my top five foundations which I will link above so you guys could go check that video out and all the wonderful beautiful women who participated in that collab okay and you know there's a lot of people who say oh my god I just can't pick I can't choose and I get that because the video actually at the end of the day ended up to be a little bit like challenging because there's so many foundations out there sticks you know liquids you know powders uh, cushions you know what I mean but at the end of the day for me NARS was always my favorite you know what I mean so you know this is who I, I don't know man if, if, if the Armani beats the NARS I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be like oh my god cuz like you know I'm super loyal Okay. so let me just put some on my hand and let's go in I'm gonna use this beauty sponge by Midas cosmetics and let's just go ahead in all right you ready just just look at like it's beautiful already not even finished blending it oh beautiful okay so you see how and I'm not really putting much on um you know I'm not a heavy packer when it comes to foundation for those of you who know me I'm very especially in the summertime child I don't even wear foundation in the summertime 
but you know for the purposes of this video I mean look at how beautiful it is you see what I'm saying the coverage is on point I didn't even do a big layer it really just blends into my skin it's not sitting on top of my skin oh it's just a beautiful perfect radiant foundation you guys know that I am have dry to mature skin so this foundation is just so lovely I just love it I mean it really looks like that I don't like you could still see my freckles and stuff because I didn't put a heavy layer or anything like that and I'm not gonna put another layer on this is literally it but look at it you can't tell me that this ain't beautiful look at that disrespectful okay y'all know I'm silly okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Armani foundation now this foundation is like uh, you know low to medium coverage and it's super radiant I describe this you know as very skin like as well I'm in the shade this is the shade 7.75 um, and obviously like the biggest difference I guess would be the price tag this is obviously a lot more uh, this is $64 versus the NARS which is $47 so I mean they're both pricey if you ask me you know what I mean but you know it is what it is so I'm gonna go ahead and I gotta use it I'm gonna push this in my upper arm see this is a very light uh, shade and I'm gonna do the same thing but a different beauty sponge and tap that in and just go ahead you ooh. see this is like oh my god this is like ooh, talk about my summer shade <laughs> you can tell that it's a significant difference okay Let's go ahead and, oh my God, and dot that in. Again, we're not here to talk about the shade because this one like matches like my face, but it doesn't match my body, you know, cause I do tan. Yeah, I'd be out there at the pool like a nobody's business child, but I don't tan my face. You know what I'm saying? So in the summertime, I have to match my foundation with my skin, with my body. You know but I hope you guys please don't be distracted from the other side of the face okay look at it I mean this too is skin like okay I mean and it blends beautifully like okay so a big noticeable difference that I could tell off the bat is that obviously the NARS is definitely more full coverage on the first application than the Armani okay but it doesn't matter to me like because I feel that you know I don't pack it on anyway so I love both coverages I could have even went just a little lighter with this side when I was you know spreading the foundation out like I didn't need to use as much as I did but this side as you can see it provides that same type of look the finish that it's radiant you know it's not drying it's not matte you know again don't get distracted by the shade okay now on this side I could definitely see my freckles a little bit more but again I didn't put that much on you know oh my gosh I'm trying to like analyze both sides you know what I mean and I, I promise you guys like I really do feel they're so similar in the way in the finish and the way it feels on the skin like it's so similar guys look right here near my cheek area you can still see the radiance and all of that still see the skin peeking through and looking on this side again you could see the radiance that I have not so much like super dewy or anything but you could definitely see the radiance right there and you could still see the skin peeking through like what's a girl to do how could I pick and choose between these two foundations you guys I wish you guys could talk to me like right now this is the time this is the moment where I need you guys to talk to me what do you guys think 
Again, try not to be distracted by the, the shade. Do you like this side better? Or do you like this side better? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna look crazy. Okay, I'm gonna look crazy. I'm just gonna go put some eyebrows on real quick. I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm just gonna try to even out, you know, put, put so I could not look so weird. I'm not gonna put anything on. I'm not gonna powder. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna do some eyebrows, maybe put some lipstick on or something and try to make myself somewhat normal and let this sit for a little while. But I'm definitely, I am going to force myself to make it some sort of decision. I'm going to force myself to continue to choose which foundation is better and which is going to be my number one. I have to. This is the challenge. I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back and I just, you know, did some lip gloss and contour the eye a little bit because I'm about to take this off and go to the pool but why my eyebrows come out like the 90s remember how we used to do that like sperm shape in the 90s like mm. anyway I digress I did put on a little bit of Wayne Goss bronzer just you know to see how it's gonna look I needed to get that real type of effect okay again pay no mind to the difference of color so what I could see and what I could tell guys I swear to you, in real, they, these foundations almost look identical in terms of the finish and just the way it looks. So how could I possibly choose a number one? But I have to. That's the point of this video. I have to. Is the Armani gonna knock down my Narshir glow? If I'm thinking about this logically, if I feel that both of these foundations currently at the moment basically gives the exact finish, I do. Can, you know, I see my skin peeking through and providing a radiant glow from within? I do. Does it look skin like? Yes. <laughs> what am I to <sighs> Okay. What I feel is that, okay, hear me out. Because the NARS Sheer Glow has been my ride and die for so long, I mean, it's been my favorite foundation. It just gives me everything I need. And now, even though the Armani, you know, is doing the same thing it gives me that natural finish just that beautiful glow from within then it comes down to a loyalty thing you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day this was my first one so it would make sense that i should choose this one right because right now they're both giving me what I need. They're both give. I mean, guys, come on now. Can you, outside of the color, looking around my balls of my cheek, can you really honestly tell me that there is a true difference? Can you? <sighs> exactly. So I'm going to have to stick with my NARS Sheer Glow. And because at the end of the day, the, the last deciding factor was just really a loyalty thing and how much longer this has been in my life. But I love them both. Okay? Okay? Like I do. Like this, like they're the same to me. But I had to be forced to choose one. And I got to stick with the NARS. Y'all probably gonna be like, Marlo, really? What do you guys think, guys? Y'all gotta tell me. I mean, can you tell a difference? No. It is what it is. I've made my decision, guys. It is my ride or die, Narshir Glow is going to continue to be my number one top foundation. And I'm confident in saying that. So anyway, 
Okay, there you have it. Please let me know what you guys think. I want to see that comment section blowing up with your opinions and letting me know, you know, if you see a difference in which one that you guys think looks the best. Again, you gotta ignore the shade, even though they're now both kind of like blended in really well, except for you can see that demarcation right there. But let me know what you guys think, okay? Let me know if you guys want me to do any more battles or anything like that, because you guys know I have a lot of foundation so I love you guys so much I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and you already know until my next video y'all bye bye now